terms <coughs> this is the 10th part of our second semester second one act play and that is the dear departed which is written by Stanley Hodder so open your books page number 143 on this page number first dialogue first play <coughs> and the first dialogue is of Mrs. Slider so what did she say and when we had finished dinner I thought I would take take up a bit of something on a tray now tray it means look at the board tray it means a flat piece of metal for carrying or holding things so particularly in our home when guest comes at our home that time we uh, put some uh, tea cup in a flat metal plate so that flat metal plate is called tray So Mrs. Slater said, after we have completed the dinner, I would like to take something in that tray and particularly something, it means something sweet to eat after the dinner. He was lying there for all the world as if he was asleep. So I put the tray down on the bureau. Bureau means, look at the mouth. It's a table of many drawers. A table of many drawers. So after that, Mrs. Slatter said that everyone is going to die in this world and he is also died. But before that, I went upstairs and there were a bureau. It means that there was a table of many drawers and there she uh, came to that uh, tray. Correcting herself on the chest of a drawer and after that when she said the bureau after that she tried to correct herself and she said on the chest chest it means the upper part of that drawer and went to awaken him and after that she started to awaken that old person pause and for few minutes few seconds she stopped there talking he was quite old and she said that he, uh, his body was completely cold. It means he was died there. After that Henry, Henry's dialogue. What did Henry say? Then I heard Amir calling for me and I ran upstairs. Henry said that that time I heard that Amir called to me and I went upstairs there. Mrs. Latter, of course, we could do nothing. And after that Mrs. Latter said, that we couldn't do anything because before we reached there, that old person died there on his bed. Mrs. Jordan, he was gone. After that, sorrowfully, Mrs. Jordan said that he was gone. No, we don't have anything to talk about that person. We can't do anything about that. After that, Henry said, there wasn't any doubt. Henry said to Mrs. John, uh, uh, Jordan that there is no doubt that the old person is dead because his body is completely cold. After that, Mrs. Jordan, I always knew he would go sudden in the end. A pause. They wipe their eyes. Wipe it means clean. They wipe their eyes and snipe back to your snipe it means. Breathe in. So after that, when Mrs. Jordan said that I always, I always knew he would go sudden in the end. Mrs. Jordan said that I always knew that the old person suddenly leave everyone here and he will go towards the heaven or towards the God. And that time, 
there was a pause it means no one talked a single word there and they everyone started to clean their eyes because there were tears in their eyes and somewhere uh, sniffing it means that they were noisily breathing in when uh, we cry but we don't want to, to show others our cry so that then we just uh, breathe in noisily so that condition is called sniff this is slighter rising briskly briskly it means
But Henry said, yes, you are right. Never forgotten. This is the good poem that we can add there with the with that information. But this is too early to write this kind of poem in that paper. After that day, we couldn't very well have forgot him the day after. Ben said that after that day, we had buried him in the ground, in the ground or in the earth. So after that also. we cannot forget him because he was the part of our life for many years so in this way this part ends here we are going to stop here have a good day to all of you thank you very much